At Solstice Action, we, we're uh, internationalists, we're a solstice organisation, we're part of the Committee for Workers International, which is organised in around 40 countries around the world. Um, we're extremely active in the democracy struggle and against dictatorship, but not just in China, uh, Hong Kong, but also in China. We think that the struggle in Hong Kong, uh, it can start here, but they can't win here unless the movement spreads to China. The US and China are no different. Same same. Same shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in the US, the US gets 300, shoots 300 black people every year. Unarmed black people. So it's just as racist as what he's doing in Xinjiang against the Muslims. I have to say, that's my flag. But you, you, you will, I don't think it belongs here. You, you will annoy many, many American people by doing this. The good. people that well, you need to I support. Just, I, just, I just said I want to. Yeah, I mean, we, we hate this flag. And, and, and the same for this. Well, so you're, it's like if, if, if you went to, if I went to England, you met me in England, sorry, and I was carrying the PRC flag. Oh, wait, no, no. I, I can't it's speak for pissed. Vincent, but I don't think it's okay. It's a bad flag, right? You don't need that. Huh? Of course you have a choice. You're fighting for democracy, you have a choice. Democracy is a bad No, he means choice. it's not your choice. Huh? We don't have choice because. Oh, you don't have a choice. Mr. Mr. Yeah, you need the aid, I agree, but you need the aid from people like us. And we're fighting this government because this government is attacking workers, this government is attacking migrants. It's putting children in prison, separate from their parents. This government is killing black people, particularly young black teenagers, that the police don't like. It's a very bad government. So we support the struggle against the Chinese dictatorship. It's a very evil regime. But the US government is not in much better. They're laughing at you. Donald Trump says you're all about that. Are you a US citizen? I am. No, I'm British. I'm British. And they're even worse. Don't get me started on the British. The British rule Hong Kong for 156 years. How many elections did they have? Zero. So Boris Johnson, the new Prime Minister in England, he wants to do a lot of business with Xi Jinping, don't go. Very, very good. Does he care about democracy in Hong Kong? Not at all. No way. So when you do this, all you do is you, you drive away the ordinary people in the USA and in England that want to support the Hong Kong movement. You see? They, they think we support them, they're fighting against dictatorship, they're fighting for democracy, and they think, whoa, what the fuck? They like the US government? Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's not good, this Hong Kong thing. Maybe it's a, so, you see, it doesn't help. Does it, did you see what Donald Trump said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it make you angry? You're carrying his flag, and he's saying... No, 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 that is not his flag. He's the president. He's the man in charge. He's the man in charge. And while Donald Trump is president, and he could be president for another five years, they will not support the movement in Hong Kong. They will not support it. They will, they will do business with China. They will try to get a solution to the trade war. They don't care about it. If the police track down on you guys and put you in prison, the US will not detain you. They will say, yeah, good, you're a rioter. You deserve it. Honestly, it's just, you give a bad signal. You annoy a lot of ordinary people. When you want solidarity, you know, don't look for the government. Look at the ordinary people. It's like if I'm looking at Hong Kong, who should I look to? Harry Lam? These people? No. You should look, look, to the, look to the ordinary people. But we support you. I could be arrested supporting you guys. The British government won't support me. But I say I'm a rioter as well. Have a stick. Thanks.
in the movement in Hong Kong, which we fully support, I, I think it's a very important movement for democratic rights against dictatorship, against police violence, um, and against the inequality in Hong Kong, which is absolutely unbelievable. The gap between the rich and the poor, the housing crisis. Then you get a small number in the demonstration that think that the US or the British government are on their side. So they'll come here with a British flag or a US flag, as we just saw. They're very, very small. They're a tiny group. It's a handful. And Donald Trump yesterday uh, made a speech where he said the Hong Kong protesters are rioters. He agrees with Xi Jinping. They're rioters. And he said that Hong Kong is an internal matter for the Chinese government. In other words, his speech means that he's saying that there's a green light, that the China wants to crack down on Hong Kong, use the army, or if the police want to get even more hardline than they've been, the US is not going to object to that. This time by reports that the Chinese army may be preparing to intervene in Hong Kong against the demonstrators. And what do you say to the accusation that the US is somehow behind? Well, something's probably happening with Hong Kong because when you look at, you know, what's going on, they've had riots for a long period of time. And I don't know what China's attitude is. Somebody said that at some point they're going to want to stop that. But that's between Hong Kong and that's between China, because Hong Kong is a part of China. They'll have to deal with that themselves. They don't need advice. I tried to explain to the young guy there with the US flag, you know, does he not see the contradiction that you're flying a flag of a government that says you're a rioter and says that they would allow and support China to crack down on the movement? You're carrying his flag and he's saying no, 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 that is not his flag. He's the president. So, of course, people want solidarity internationally, but they should look for the solidarity from the people who are in struggle internationally, the people who are fighting for women's rights, for workers' rights, who are fighting to save the climate. And in all of those struggles, of course, they're coming into collision with their own government. Their own governments are uh, opposing those protest movements. So instead of supporting the government, they should be looking to support from the ordinary people. That's where they'll get the support for the struggle in Hong Kong. Uh, I I'm not an expert in uh, US um, examining, but uh, we share the same interests with US, yes. and uh, I think US may protect the interests they put in Hong Kong, and then also protect Hong Kong because uh, we share the same uh, idea with uh, we value the uh, human rights and global rights. I really believe if President Xi sat down with representatives of the protesters, and they do have representatives, pretty good representatives, pretty strong representatives, I've, I've been watching and seeing them. If he sat down, I think he'd work something out, and I think it would be good for everybody. But it does put pressure on the trade deal. If they do something negative, it puts pressure. Now, that deal I can sign by myself. It's structured, so I don't have to go to Congress. But I respect Congress, I respect the views of Congress, and I respect, most importantly, the views of the people of our country. And I think it would be much harder for me to sign a deal if he did something violent in Hong Kong.